Right now, there are five really good budget smart telescopes you can consider. These are the Seastar S30, the Seastar S50, the Dwarf 3, and now the Dwarf Mini. Plus, there's the Vionis Hestia, which is technically not a smart telescope, but it's worth touching on. In this video, I'm going to compare all these five models to help you find the right one for you. We're going to look at the key specifications of the telescopes and inbuilt cameras, as well as weight, portability, ease of use, and of course, cost. So let's start by comparing them by price. As you can see, these range from $189 to $549, with the Vionis Hestia the cheapest, and the Dwarf Lab Dwarf 3 the most expensive in this bracket. These are the starting prices and don't always include everything like tripods and other accessories so we'll dig into that in a bit. These prices will be subject to change obviously so use the links below to check what they're going to be right now. So the Vionis Hestia starts at $189 but that doesn't include the tripod or the solar filter. It will work with a regular photography tripod so if you already own one that's a cost you can save. However I do think you'll want the solar filter as photographing the moon and sun is really what this device is best for. So I mentioned technically this is not a smart telescope. It doesn't have an inbuilt camera. What it does instead is you attach your smartphone and it uses the camera within your smartphone to take photos. So in theory, this is a pretty good idea. Your smartphone camera is pretty good. The downside of the Hestia is that it doesn't have any kind of go-to mount or tracking capability. As the Hestia can't do this, it really only excels for shooting the moon and the sun, which is why I mentioned you probably want that solar filter. For this, it's a great tool, it's light, easy to use, easy to travel with, doesn't require a power source or a Wi-Fi connection or anything like that. So as long as you're aware of the limitations, this is a great device that enhances the capacity of your smartphone for taking photos of the sun and the moon, but it's not a smart telescope that can capture deep sky objects. So moving on to the next model, and that's the Seastar S30. So this is a smart telescope. It does have a camera mount telescope all in one. This is the cheapest of the, the real smart telescopes. It currently sells at the time of making this, $399, and that includes the tripod and everything else you'd want with it. It's pretty new, only started shipping at the start of 2025. ZWO are a great and well-respected astrophotography manufacturing brand. It's relatively small and light. You can see on this chart here how they all compare by weight. The two C-Star models are actually the heaviest. However, this is pretty relative. So if you see, I compare them all here to all the smart telescopes are available that you might want to consider. And you can see that not only are these ones we're looking at cheaper, but they're all together, they're collectively lighter. It has a 30 millimeter aperture telescope, a 2.1 megapixel resolution. Next up is the Dwarf Mini released very late 2025. It's also priced at $300. $99, same as the Seastar S30. However, that doesn't include a tripod. You can add a tripod when you buy with it, or you can use your own if you've already got one. The specifications on this are virtually the same as the Seastar S30, and it's actually a very similar looking device. It has the same 30 millimeter aperture telescope, the 2.1 megapixel camera. It uses the same Sony IMX662 sensor as the Seastar S30. At first, glance when you compare it it does way less but the advertised weight doesn't actually include the tripod so if you were to add the, the dwarf lab tripod it's pretty much the same in fact the only real way i can see to differentiate these devices is firstly the appearance so the dwarf mini is black i think it is a bit a bit sexier looking than the c star s30 secondly is the app so the software you use to manage it and run it broadly the c star app is simpler more intuitive and easier to use for a beginner the dwarf lab app is a bit more complex with a bit more capacity for you to have control over certain parameters so this makes the learning curve slightly steeper but does offer a bit more capacity for advanced control. Either way, both apps are being constantly updated. They're not static things, they're having new features added. So it's pretty hard to choose between the two. You can see that the Dwarf Mini has come out as a direct competitor to the Seastar S30, where the next two we're gonna talk about were already direct competitors. So looking now at the Seastar S50, this is the big brother to the S30 that we already talked about. This is the oldest of all these budget options we're covering, but we're only talking 2023. It costs just under $500 when I'm looking at it. That includes tripods and all the accessories. It has the highest aperture telescope of all these models. I'll show you now another chart. You can see here it actually puts it level with some of the more premium models like the Vaunus Vespera and Vespera Pro. If you don't know the two key specifications that determine the quality of images you can get out of a smart telescope are 
the telescope aperture and the camera resolution. Aperture determines how much light the telescope can capture and bigger is always better, but also usually more expensive. Resolution determines how well the device can make the most of that light gathered and turn it into an astro image. You need both aperture probably the more important one the c star s50 has the highest of this of all the options we're looking at the downside is that it is bigger and heavier than the other options and accordingly it's a bit less easy to move around or travel with the last model to cover is the dwarf 3 which whilst it weighs a bit more than the dwarf mini or c star s30 its shape and size make it probably the best for traveling with it comes with a perfect little carry case which is ideal for chucking in a bag or in the back of a car. It costs $549, so this is the most expensive of the options we're looking at here, and that doesn't include a tripod. Again, you can either add the tripod if you buy it, or you can use one you already own. The aperture is 35 millimeter, which puts it above the S30 and the Dwarf Mini, but below the S50. The camera resolution is a whopping 8.3 megapixels, so not only is this far beyond the other ones that we're looking at, which are all around two megapixels, if I compare it to all the models, including the premium ones, it's actually equal second. The Dwarf 3 also has a wide angle lens that you can use for landscape astro images, capturing the Milky Way, you can use it to capture time lapses. Overall, there are four great budget smart telescope options you want to consider, plus the Hestia, which really should be in a separate bracket. Both the Sea Star S30 and the Dwarf Mini are great options at the lowest price you can get a genuinely good smart telescope. It's pretty hard to choose those two right now. I'd recommend shop around, check the prices using the links below. Of the two pricier options, the Sea Star S50 is the most powerful as measured by aperture but it's also the heaviest and least convenient to travel with. The Dwarf 3 boasts the best camera. It's the easiest to travel with, has the best flexibility beyond just deep sky astrophotography, but it is the most expensive. So I hope that was useful in helping you choose the right model for you. Let me know your views or if you have any questions in the comments below. You can also check the prices using the links. There are of course other smart telescopes. In this video I've covered the five best budget options. If you want to see how those budget options compare with some of the more premium models which cost a bit more, then check out this video here where I've gone through each of the 12 best options you can consider and how they match up.